got a question for you, right? Let's say you were out at an auction, right? And you really, really wanted one of the, one of the products the auctioneer was auctioning off, right? How do you indicate that you really want that thing that they're auctioning? You raise your hand, right? Even at a silent auction, there's a discreet way that they tell you to indicate that you really want it. But you got to let them know that you want it, right? Another question for you. If you raise your hand in an auction and let them know that you want that product, is it a guarantee that you will get that product? Absolutely not, because somebody else may outbid you. However, if you never say anything, if you never raise your hand and let them know that you want what the auctioneer is auctioning off, is there any chance whatsoever that you'll ever get it? Absolutely not. So the moral of this story is that in an auction, it's just like real life. If you never make it, make it known, make it plain and clear that what you want, that you really want it, you will never get it. See, this is basically what I'm saying to you, and this is what you gotta understand about life. You gotta stand up for yourself. Absolutely. If you don't do it, nobody else is. Check this out. While you sitting around, right? waiting for somebody great to come and save you, right? Look what God is doing. God is sitting around waiting for you to become great. Here's the thing. Nothing magic is happening. Nobody's coming to save you. But here's the thing. If you really want to be the change that you want to see in the world, you really got to do it, right? And here's three reasons why you got to stand up for yourself. Number one, please understand if somebody else does it for you, you're going to eventually lose it. Because here's the thing, you don't appreciate it. And appreciation is learned by going through the process. Number two, never ever forget proactive people, well, they get what they want because they move on it. They not afraid, they go for it. But reactive people, guess what they do? They sit around, should I, could I, what if this happened, what if that happened? And guess what you get? You get whatever's left over, right? And number three, you gotta develop a greatness mindset. A mind bold enough to believe that the greatest possible bet that you could ever make in all the world is to put all your chips on the line and bet on you, yup. See this, stand up for yourself. You gotta be the one to initiate it. Whatever you want in life, you gotta make the first step. The universe will match you. God will, will, will honor it, but you gotta go first. Here's the thing. If you're broke down on the side of the road and you stand around, come help me, come help me. Nobody's likely to stop and help you, right? But if you stuck on the side of the road and you just start pushing and pushing and pushing your car, odds are someone else gonna get out and help you push. Stop sitting around and get out and start pushing. Never forget, my friend. You were born to be great.